been two and a half years since we had put this vinyl plank directly over tile. Here's the vinyl plank. And directly over this tile floor. It's not, I should do this. It's, should I do this? So we're not telling you you should do it, but we're letting you know what the pros and cons are in case you decide to do it. This part, two years later, it's never. Right, when we, you, I don't know if we can get it on the camera, can we? I'm just gonna show I mean, for the most part, you would not notice that it's over, and that it's directly over tile, unless you are looking for it. Got an angle. That piece right here. All right, here's the angle. Did you get it? I think right here, this piece in the middle are you talking about? Yeah. Or this piece, like, kind of right here, we see a little bit of it between the grooves. Yeah, you see the little slope. There's a little showing that, yeah, maybe it's not really flat as it should be there. But, like I said, it's, uh, if you're not, if you didn't know that it wasn't there, you wouldn't recognize it, right? What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And going in on here, as you can see, it came out really good. We did the hallway here, and this doesn't, I mean, this is perfect. It's kind of such a small area. It doesn't really give the, the vinyl plank any room to bend. So the smaller the area, the less chance it has of the floor bending. And here's the bathroom, and you can see that it's doing great in the bathroom, which I, I thought it was going to bow in here more so because of the humidity that it gets, but it's actually, I guess, and also because it's a shorter distance from side to side, it keeps the, keeps the vinyl plank from, from sloping. So over here, that's so close. Now over here, as you can see, this area came out really good. There's no difference. You can't really tell that it's over tile, directly over tile, but right here, there's a spot, another operator error, we will say OE on my part, what happened if you can push right, right here, right there, more. Yep. here, okay, what happened is whoever installed this, and laid this vinyl plank down on the floor, didn't leave enough space and their gap between the walls from one edge to the X. And when it heated up, the floors expanded and this part right here broke the seal there. So now we have like this little, what do you call it? Um, part that's like bendy. You can tell right here it's been, uh, the vinyl has actually cracked from here to there. And that also might be where I might have Miss my cut? No, because I don't want to cut that. Um, yeah, that's just from not putting the floor in and leaving enough gap to the edges. So the floors expand, and I didn't leave enough room for it to expand, so therefore it has to push, and it's going to find the area to break, the weakest area, and it's going to break. That's what happened there. I'm not going to fix it because it probably look worse if I fixed it than it does if I left it. And uh, that's about it. But it's been, like I said, over two years. Can we help you out? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's been over two years, and the walkthrough. We know we just had a person yesterday email us and say they're getting ready to do this, and they were nervous. Yes, you should be nervous. You should be very nervous doing this. But you'll be all right. You got this. It came out really good, and we're still we're still glad we did it. The pros to it. Huh? I would let them know that we actually have about 30 people in our house every week walking on it. So it's not even just our normal daily. True. Yeah, she's got a good point there. We uh, this floor gets a lot, a lot of use. We uh, we have a. 30 to 50 people in here, and we have dinner every Saturday night, 
and yeah, it's loaded. People are all over this floor. So it has held up very, very well. Very well. Yeah, it's gotten more use than your typical floor is going to get. And we live in Florida, which is very humid, so it does see a lot of humidity. But uh, should you do this? It's your call. She says yes. I say yeah. I'm glad we did it. I'm I'm glad we did it because it saved us probably on about six to six thousand dollars, six to seven thousand dollars, doing it ourselves. And uh, the, I'm gonna say the, the pros, it saves a lot of money, it saves a lot of money, it saves a lot of money, it saves a lot of time because you don't have to worry about scraping the floors, re-leveling floors or rent, you know. It's great for a rental property, it's definitely a no-brainer. You do this for a million dollar home, maybe not. You probably go up the floors and put a brand new one in. But uh, the pros are definitely saving money, you know, no re-leveling floors, saving time. You can walk over it as you do it, as you're working on it. You can still walk over it. Whereas if you're leveling your floor and breaking out your tiles, and, and another pro is that when you're done, if you don't like it anymore, you take this up and you've still got a beautiful tile underneath. So you've got two floors now instead of just one, which is uh, my favorite part about it. Now the cons, the cons are they could slow. Anyway, two years, two years and two months later, here is our floors. And we want to thank you all for watching. Uh, this is probably the last one we're going to do. I don't see the floor getting any worse. Unless it gets, you know, from, from use, of course. Scratches and stuff like that is going to take its toll. But I don't see it uh, bending or sloping or bowing any more than it has already. So, all you naysayers out there, our proof is in the pudding, our facts are right here in front of us. You know, we're not just guessing that this will happen or this won't happen. We actually did it. Oh, and also, our friend just did his floor directly over tile, which is a cork board underneath the vinyl plank. And that even acted even better than this, honestly, because that cork acts more of a, uh, you know, I'd use underlayment and the cork board. I'd, let me say that right. Then you'll probably be very safe. I would, it, would, it would be more level, I think. I don't know. But I don't know if I trust cork because it couldn't get wet. It could get wet somehow. Anyway, you did use cork. And I'll show you a, a clip of that video too. <laughs> it's a scrap. Okay. Cork board. You need to spell it. Just put in this one. His house is uh, much bigger than this one. He did a whole house with cork board and it was all tile. Directly, put it directly over the tile floor. We helped him do it. He says it's, uh, it's great. You never know that it wasn't uh, that it was struck the other tile. And I will give you a little clip of that too. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And also, if you, wanna, if you have kids, we just throw some here. If you have kids, uh, check out Jonathan's Playhouse. It's my son's channel. And he's got real, some really fun stuff that, uh, that maybe you would, your kids would enjoy watching. He's three years old, he's a toddler. He likes to like Flippy a lot. And he even helped us out. He's in the first video we did of putting this floor in. And he's, uh, he's one of the yeah, hard workers that got in and helped lay this floor. So, once again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're going to be doing this more. And if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks again. Sunday, Monday.